and so guys welcome back to our Manchester United career mode here in FC 25 okay so here we go looking to uh, turn things around and uh, quickly I will say this I am recording at a time that is not ideal United are playing Spurs and uh, right now we are 1-0 down and uh, Bruno is uh he, he he just got a red card and uh it's just it's just a complete mess <laughs> complete mess and uh again last episode was a nightmare united in real life are having a nightmare and i need to do this to make me feel uh better and uh, i'm determined well i'm hoping by the end of today we're gonna feel better with our journey and that we get back on track with some big wins uh, as well but uh, quickly though here at social hub some big deals i'm sure going on still in january and uh, Oyaz uh, uh well Oyazabal, yeah <laughs> has joined arsenal from uh, social uh, social dad for 35 mil that's quite big good signing for them and jolington has gone to uh, atletico madrid from newcastle for 31 mil uh, that's yeah i mean what a loss <laughs> loss for newcastle that is and uh, that's oh, that's jose legend love jose i do i do love jose i mean i wish it worked out for him at united i really do always dreamt of him being united manager but i, I think he came out of time it was too late he should have taken over as united manager straight after straight after ferguson i think we would have just been a-okay and uh, we wouldn't be in a mess we are in today i think we would have been just fine with uh, jose but hey we, we we just have to deal with it uh what's this great performance against the uh, united oh yeah that's that 2-2 two -two draw against rangers and uh, yeah last minute equalizer by us it's yeah last episode want to forget about it but uh, what's this torreira has gone to liverpool so torreira's back in the premier league galatasaray losing another player because we did sign our first player in uh, uh yilmaz so had a difficult start but i feel bad because kind, kind of threw him in to a situation where it wasn't good and uh, there's i think too much pressure on his shoulders so yeah let's just see what else there is very quickly it's a big day today big day today and uh yeah some more signings of course but anyway let's just get into what we need to do today and uh, there's plenty to uh get into all right so uh some updates lots of uh, young players have gone out on loan and uh, plenty plenty of uh, big offers have come in for our players and uh, well first you can see heaton got a few uh, offers for him uh on the pre-contract so it was just waiting on those to be confirmed uh collier has got a loan deal ready to go as well we, we just accepted that here uh i've rejected uh, a bid from wolves for anthony we are we, we just need anthony and uh we, we shall see <laughs> i mean he's still gonna play a big part this season no doubt so um we, we'll see what we can do with anthony um for the rest of this season and uh, what we do with him in the summer this was interesting um chelsea in for casemiro and uh i was thinking well what what cdms do chelsea have and uh, the only one that sort of you know took my interest was uh lavia but i just thought no i don't want to be silly i want to keep this career mode as realistic as possible and not do anything stupid and i just thought yeah that was just just a silly deal that wouldn't have uh, made sense uh but yeah euro this was uh crazy psg in for euro but uh, we said no so again, yes, we signed Yilmaz and uh, we still got some wingers left on our shortlist. I just, you know, I like them. So we'll just keep them there in case of, uh, you know, you never know. Just for you never know situations. But here, um, yeah, we got Branthwaite and uh, Kirkes. So Kirkes for me would be a perfect left back for us. And uh I did discuss it last episode, but I think I left it out. So I'll quickly say it now. I, I was thinking about bringing in Kirkes now and then sending him out on loan because we do have Shaw, we do have Malassia, 
and uh, I've got to decide who I keep out of Shaw and Malassia. So these last few months of this season, uh, Shaw and Malassia are going to fight it out for their future. But uh, I'm just keeping an eye on, uh, you know, Kerkes for the rest of this uh, window. Because if there, if there is an offer for him in this window, then of course our hand will be forced to go in to uh, to go in for an offer and bring him in, and then yeah, we'll we'll look at a, a loan deal for him to send him send him out. But uh, above him, though, Branthwaite, I have seen there is an offer from Valencia, and uh, I want Branthwaite. Well, what's going to wait till the summer? But we can't. We can't take any chances. I want him now. And that's what we're going to do at the start. All right, so there we are. Oh, look at that nice. It's Daishi. <laughs> the legend, the man. Oh, I love uh, Sean Daishi. No, I cannot do the impression. And if I, I mean, I probably could. I've just, I've never practiced it. And uh, yeah, but I love Daishi. What a guy. I hope he gets all the time possible at Everton. I've seen glimpses of what Everton can do under him. They've just been very unlucky, I will, I will say. But uh, here, though, we want Branthwaite, who is left-footed and homegrown, which is perfect. I do believe Martinez, for us, have has struggled. I really do. And uh, I'm not saying he's the answer, Branthwaite, but you, you never know. Maybe he is, but 28 mil. Let's go with uh, 30... 33. Let's go with 33 for Branthwaite. I mean, Everton, we wanted uh, Branthwaite in real life, but they wanted, what, 70 million? United weren't going to do that. And, uh, well, they said no, but... <laughs> well, they didn't say... Well, they said no to a uh, straight offer, but they want Rashford in a swap deal. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, re remove. So we'll just offer them a little bit more. Then we go up to uh, 35. Go up to 35. And on the on the dot, I want. I'm desperate for this. I think this is a, a big a big signing if we can uh, get it done. Come on, Daishi. There we go. It's more than reasonable. Let's talk contracts. Okay, so come on, come on in. There is Branthwaite. He's six foot five. He's a giant, and that for a giant centre back, I, I do believe he's got a decent pace about him. So he wants rotation. Yes, I mean I understand that, and that that is perfect. He is only twenty two seventy nine rated, and uh, I can only believe he'll get better. Can you I mean, look. Eventually, we're going to have Branthwaite and Euro as our two centre backs. Sounds delicious to me. So let's try four here. Four years for uh, Jared. Come on. That's it. That's what he wants. And uh, he says, no release clause, please. And we say, great, great stuff. And uh, appearances. Yeah, I'm. look. Yeah, appearances, signing on bonus. 53k. Perfect, guys. There we go. Second signing in. And uh, it's a big one. It's Jared Branthwaite. All right, <laughs> let's see what the board think of this. I don't think it's bad. It's a B. We get we got to be a B for uh, Yilmaz. Uh, so and uh, again here for uh, Branthwaite. They say thirty point six mil was the best possible deal, but uh, I'll, I'll say thirty five. It's good. It's very good. And uh, oh, guys. So yeah, Yilmaz Branthwaite in this window, and uh, as I said before. A possibility of a third with uh, Kirk has. All right, so there he is, and uh, it's been given the number thirteen again. I think um, I might just leave him with the number thirteen for now because we've got players like Lindelof leaving, which will um, leave number two available. But also Maguire is leaving at the end. I've decided that I'm not giving him another contract. He's gonna go. Guys, he's gonna go. So number number two and number five will be available, along with also actually Johnny Evans, who's wearing the well, yeah, thirty-five. He's not gonna have that. He's gonna have a nice number. Like I'll I'll, I'll give him the number five, Branthwaite. That's what I'll do. All right, guys. So after the last episode, I did 
quite a bit of uh, tactical work. I'm like, okay, come on, let's try and figure something out. Let's try and see what we can do to change things up, hopefully for the better. And uh, I've changed formation once again, all, although it does look quite similar. It is a 4-2-1-3, so, and uh, the players have different roles for their positions. Well, some of them do. Hoyland is a poacher now, which means he stays central. He doesn't drift. That's where he stays, hopefully. And uh, Ahmad, I'm going to start Ahmad ahead of Yilmaz. I just think gently bring Yilmaz into the team. And um, yeah, I just want, we'll keep Ahmad and uh, Ganacho just for stability. Uh, Bruno, as a, well, he is now a cam. So he is pushed further up to uh, support Hoyland a lot more. And is a playmaker, which is perfect for him. Where but behind Bruno, we've got Ugarte and Mainu as always. But Ugarte, um, centre half, will go to him. So centre half, a defensive midfielder who will drop between the centre backs while their team is in possession to offer protection against the counter attack. And uh, the reason I've done that, we've been caught so many times down the middle with players running between our centre backs. And uh, I feel like we'll, we'll give this a go. It sounds good where Mainu is the holding player. So, um, yes. Um, I, I, I just hope improvements. I, right now, for the rest of this season, don't care about performance. But it's all about results. It's a results business right now. And uh, we need wins. All right, so here we go. First game of the day uh, is Fulham at, uh, at the Cottage. And, uh, yeah, going to the team. And, uh, well... Do I throw Branthwaite straight in? Oh, well, he's not fit, of course. <laughs> he's probably just played for Everton. So Branthwaite cannot play this game. Unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to wait. I need to check his training uh, drills, but uh, we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so we've got a bit of an issue here. Malassia is also not fit. He is not. Uh, bro. Uh Okay, I mean it's gonna it's gonna have to be sure, man. I miss our mass already. I really do, and our, our two CDMs are not fit either. I mean we're gonna have to go with uh, Casemiro, and I'll go with Mount. Got to start fit and fresh here, apart from Luke Shaw, rightio. Although, you know what? He can, he, he can. He can. Maguire's not going to start. Where's Lindelof? Is he? Oh, Lindelof's not fit. Okay, well, Maguire, you get to start. Johnny Evans on the bench. Well, I'm going to have Oh, no, Anthony, you can come on to the bench. And uh, that's going to have to do. That will do. Although, Yilmaz can play left back. Is he going to like it, though? Let's see. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. I'll play Martinez there. Okay, so a bit of a makeshift uh, defense. It's not perfect. This is not... Yeah, this is not perfect. But uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so here we go. Fulham kick off. And uh, just going to go with a slightly different approach in games and be more defensive than go all out attack all the time. So I'm very attacking. And just be, sen be sensible. So it, it may not be pretty today, guys, but hopefully we just get the wins. That's what it's all about. Always watching players off the ball. And uh, Martin, Martinez at left back. I've got to get used to this. <laughs> I'm going to start complaining. I'm like, Martinez, why are you not centre back? It's because I put him left back. He's uh, naturally left footed. So he'll be just fine. And uh, here we go. And uh, Ahmad. He's going to go out wide. In towards Hoyland. 
And uh, we can get a header here. And uh, now it's uh, Bruno. Back to Ahmad. And this is where I just don't want to play any kind of passing. Not just any ball. It's got to be a meaningful ball. Not just chuck it in there. Bruno. Towards Ahmad. Go on, Ahmad. Oh, how's he scored? <laughs> Very happy he scored, but how's he scored? <laughs> I, I mean, I prioritised power towards the goal. It, it must have been deflected. I don't know. I was aiming near post. I don't know where this went or what happened or how it happened. Was it deflected? No, it's just terrible goalkeeping. All my days. We'll take we'll take that all day long. Here we go. Ahmad wants it inside. And it's lovely to Hoyland. Oh, I try to get back to uh, Ahmad. Still have it. Into Bruno. Just go back. Back into Bruno. Oh, nice ball. And Ahmad's going to try and take it quickly. This is good play. This is so far very good. Right, easy up. <laughs> easy up. Just calm me down. Don't always have to play forward. Just keep it all simple. There's a pass here. It's nice. To a Bruno. And uh, shot. It's 2 0. And it's not Bruno, sorry. It is Ganacho. And uh, that inside winger is just perfect because it allows us to have an extra man, at least in the box, I would say. And this is just, this is a wonderful um, start. I was actually told to be less attack attacking and uh, in a way I, I have been. And I was told, and I said, it's going to be very difficult for me to do that. And you know what? I've got to find out who you are again. Sorry. <laughs> you know, for saying, just do not do less attacking in the first half. You might benefit. And uh, I have done less attacking. And we have benefited. Amazingly, we are 2-0 up. All right. So, second half. Just keep it the same. We are 2-0 up. Game in our hands. Nothing silly. And we just don't need to go full pelt towards the Fulham goal at this time. Which is nice and easy. But there's lot, there is lots of space. Plenty of space. Not holding down the sprint button all the time either. Nice and easy. And a long shot. It's a good save. We keep it in with Martinez. I'm so impressed with Martinez at left back. All my days, guys. What an option. And here we go. I see you, Hoyland. Down the channel. And uh, needs a bit of help here. Here we go, inside. Oh, what a tackle. Ahmad. Oh, what a, what a save. What a save. And uh, can we go again? We can. And uh, that's a lovely ball into uh, Bruno. Who's in? He's going to have to square it. Oh, it's just awkward. It was awkward for Ahmad. Probably should have just gone with Bruno. But I saw Hoyland. He went all the way to Ahmad. But anyway, on comes Yilmaz. And uh, Anthony as well. Come on, Martinez. Show us how good you are left back. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh no, it is 2 1. It's quite late though. It's Smith Row. I mean, that's Fulham's first real chance. It's a quick little turn. Yeah, Delet just wasn't, wasn't there in a way to stop it. Now we have to be smart with the ball. 
All right, how long is there to go of injury time? Three minutes. Three minutes. Just keep it, lads. This is what we do. Oh, play infield in the middle. And out wide. And uh, Yilmaz is the perfect guy. Surely this is ours. Here we go. Back to Bruno. Oh, back to Anthony. But that will do. It is three points. I said it may not be pretty. Parts were really good. But it's three points. That's the main thing. Results business. Uh, so, well, guys. <laughs> I just went and checked the uh, United v uh, Spurs score uh, latest. And uh, Spurs have just made it 2-0 at this time of uh, recording. Um, and I'm sure it can only get worse. Uh, but anyway, here though, we're doing, you know, we started all right. We got our three points and uh, we're going to straight away from the get-go check the league table. And uh, we were 13. Look at that. Highest position yet this season after 23 games, ninth place. Uh, but even, even though, even so, we are still <laughs> seven points behind Palace, who are a place above us, but also Newcastle, which is, uh, I think, seventh place or i don't know it's eighth place conference league we don't want that but again we are in the europa league so uh chances of uh you know having champions league football for next season is still there it's still there but i just wanted to see what that win did for us and it's done okay all right here we go a lot of the players are fit and fresh for this but uh how is branthwaite doing i mean i can put him oh i mean he's left Footed, how's his weak foot? It's all oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's five stars. He's basically left and right footed. Uh, Euro's not quite fit for, for this game. Um, Maguire did solid, he was pretty solid. Maguire against Fulham, but I guess no other well, apart from Evans. But we're gonna start. Branthwaite, he's gonna make his debut in a pretty big game. Um, as well, we can play in place of uh. The low, but then again, is molasses is not ready. Um, yeah, Luke Shaw can start. Um, ooh, well, we're gonna have to start Bainder, keep Anana fresh. Um, Casemiro Mount. Well, yeah, I'll start these two. Bruno, I'll um, play Mount in place of Bruno and uh. I'll start Anthony. <laughs> I will start Anthony. I, I think Yilmaz, I'm just easing him way, easing him into uh, this team. I won't change it too much. I'll keep, yeah, I'll keep that as it is. Pretty strong. I'll say it's strong enough and we should win this. And uh, it is snowing here. And uh, we've got a nice bright ball to, uh, so we know where, where it is. But Branthwaite, first touch. And uh, his United debut in what is a pretty big game. And uh, making it even tougher now with the snow. But same gameplay. Well, same tactics apply. Just nice and easy. <sighs> Nothing crazy. Especially in this. Just, oh. Don't, don't. I don't like the snow. I, I've always hated the snow. Very, yeah, off-putting. But here we go. And uh, oh, a bit sloppy. That's worry. There's a ball in already. That's a good save. Still looking for our first goal from a corner. And uh, Branthwaite almost. <laughs> would have been perfect. What a start that would have been for him. He now needs to get back. There, there is a counter. And uh, they are moving pretty sharpish here. I tell you that. This plays in the box. And uh, it's a dangerous ball. But a terrible shot. Out here to uh, Mount. And uh, I saw you, Hoyland. Once. Oh, what a tackle. Probably should have hit it first time. But I thought we had time. We didn't. Unbelievable tackle. Just got his foot in at the right time. 
Meanwhile, here they come. Come on, no. Get your foot in. Just deal with it. And we do. Martinez. And uh, go. Oswari. Over to... Uh, has to be. How? How's he saved it, man? You just thought it was going to be. How's it not? And it's a counter. Unbelievable. No. Get your foot in. We don't. Painter. All my days. And that's a good ball. Oh, no. That's a good ball. This is dangerous. Painter with a ginormous save. And deal with this. Oh, scary time. That was scary. Over the top. Onside, he is. Ganacho. Put it back. Oh, it's just poor. Well, outside, outside the top eight, I believe we do finish. Um, it sounds like an excuse, but I absolutely, again, hate the snow. And it definitely played its part in this match. Okay, so we did not finish in the top eight. We actually finished 15th in the uh, Europa League uh, league phase, to call it. And now we have to go in and play extra games against Hoffenheim in the uh, playoffs. Which is, is this is just weird. Uh, so, uh, why, why? No, I don't want that. That's what I wanted. Let's see who there is. So, yeah, there's us. We've got Hoffenheim. Ranger, Rangers are there. Galatasaray. Lazio. Porto. Roma are there as well. Ajax. There's some good teams. <laughs> there are some good teams in the playoffs. Hoffenheim, I believe, are pretty decent from the Bundesliga. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're still there. We're still in the Europa League. But uh, not in the way we wanted, I guess. Okay, so uh, Tottenham are winning 3-0. Just had a look. <laughs> oh, dear, what's happened to uh, what's happened to our club, guys? Eh? What's happened to it? Oh, I, I mean, we should be used to it by now. It's, it's been like this since Ferguson left, and uh, it's just not got any better with anybody. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I just feel like, you know, we we know where we want this club, where we want this club to be at the top winning the big stuff but we've got to be we've got to be honest with ourselves we're just nowhere near it and we're not going to be anywhere near it for a long time that's well for me that's that's my opinion it's that i don't see us being anywhere close to the top anytime soon i just don't i just don't i just don't believe in it i don't i don't believe in the uh in you know in the uh project with ten hag whether that means i'm you know, I'm te Ten Hag out. I don't know. I just don't believe in it, you know. And uh, I just don't believe in the players that we have. They just don't have that mentality of fighting back, digging in. Uh, we just, yeah, we, it, we're, ju we're just a complete mess. So many big offers coming in for our players right now. Absolutely crazy. And a big one here for Hoyland from Bayer Leverkusen. Of course, we're going to say no. But guys, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I keep coming back, checking on Kirkes to make sure no one's uh, making an offer for him. And, um, oh, dude, yeah, still no offers. But I'm just thinking, do we just sign, sign him and then just send him out on loan anyway? I mean, it's going to come to us in the summer. I mean, if we buy him now and then loan him out, he's going to feel like a summer signing anyway because <laughs> he'll be back with us in the summer. So... Um, yeah, <laughs> yes, just to make me feel comfortable that we that he is our player and uh, when and uh, when he comes back from his loan, he'll be with us. So I don't have to keep coming backwards and forwards, checking that no one's come in for him, uh, or else we'll regret it if we uh, mess this up. So let's do this. I mean, I never, I never thought I would sign three players in January. But uh, I feel like these three signings, just what the it's just what we need. Uh, so they are perfect. But Kirkes is one for the summer, kind of just 
getting him now. And uh, I would love it if Bournemouth came in for a loan offer. And uh, I was thinking this. Why don't they add this to uh, negotiations? Buy the player and th then loan him back. It would be great. But anyway, um, 18 million is his value. So let's go to uh, 20 two and a half I mean look at how much we got left we actually haven't got that much left <laughs> got 34 mil so yeah come on let's not be let's not be silly Bournemouth let's be sensible with the prices and see what they say oh they accepted it fantastic okay and there he is Kirk cares yes <laughs> yes It'd be great, absolutely great. I, I know we've, we've got Amas, who is a young left back that I love, but of course, the decision is to be made uh, about either Shaw or Malasia. Which one of those two stays? Which one of those two goes? But uh, Kirkes, I will say, important. And I tell you what, there's not a lot of time left on the deadline. I just realised deadline day. There's not a lot of time left, so. <laughs> <laughs> he may be with us anyway for the rest of this season. I'll, I'll put him on the loan list. You never know. Uh, four years. This is going to be crazy into the deadline um, window. Oh my goodness. So yeah, no release clause. Oh dear. Um, yeah, look at that. Yes, it's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Kirkes, third signing of the January window. It's, 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 it's been crazy. It's been a crazy month. All right, so Milos Kerkers is a United player for us here. And uh, what rating do we get? Oh, it's only a C. It's a good price. But I think we could have done on a dot of 18 million, million on his value. I don't know. But uh, I'm just glad that he's ours. The question now is, can we um, loan him out? All right, guys, you're going to sit with me with this for <laughs> only four hours for someone to go in for a loan deal for Kirkes. I mean, why would they not? They'd be stupid not to play this young of quality. And uh, we actually have to keep checking it just to see. And it, there's still nothing there. Three hours. Come on, somebody. What about now? Two hours left. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, oh, it's Arsenal, though. <laughs> no. No, not Arsenal. I'm sorry, not Arsenal. Yeah, reject. Not Arsenal. Look, it's not terrible that he stays with us, doesn't go. And uh, Maguire's been approached by who? By Na oh, by Napoli, he's gonna go and join um, um, um Mac Tomine. <laughs> oh my days! Oh dear, oh dear! You couldn't write it, and uh, I, I don't think this is gonna work with Kerkes. Almost did with Arsenal. Just to say, and I oh, say yeah. I mean it's yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna loan him out to um, uh to a rival. Not Arsenal, not Chelsea. I was hoping Bournemouth would come back in. But we've had offers elsewhere. Barcelona Barcelona for Luke Shaw. You never know. Maybe in the summer. Uh, but uh, yeah, no to this. Okay, so look, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, if you think about it today, we had to play uh, Martinez at left back. So in a way, you know, it would have, would have been perfect if we had Kerkers at the time. So I guess three left backs is not bad at all. Especially when we've got Europa League football. We need as uh, many um, players as we as we can get. Alright, so here we go. Deadline day is done. <laughs> done. And uh, oh my goodness, it is Crystal Palace. It's, it's ninth against uh, eighth place in the table. And... Um, Kirkes, Man City, all the big rivals, Arsenal, Chelsea, now City. And I guess I've got to take him off the loan list. He is with us till, well, he's just with us now. That's it. 
So I'm not going to loan him out next season. It was just a short term for the rest of this season. And then he would he would have been back with us. But uh, at least it's a chance for him to show what he can do. All right, so here we go. A tricky game at home against Palace. But let's just keep doing what we've been doing today, which is steady Eddie. And uh, I was going to play this over the top. And a uh, oh, bit, bit weird there, but it's okay. Please, just again, nothing, nothing silly, nothing crazy. I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself this. Managing myself. And Palace, well done, Martinez. Now Ganacho, there is space here. And uh, I was looking at you, Hoydent. Is it Ganacho? It is. Go on, Hoydent. I see you. First time. Oh, he did it this time. He got it first time. Scuffed it. Absolutely scuffed his efforts. Please. Got to one day score from a corner. Not close there. Uh, back to Bruno. He is onside. Whip this one in. It's not bad. Oh, come on. Just, I mean, sometimes I wonder how we don't win headers. Bruno. There. Kirk cares. And that's half time. I mean, we pretty much dominated the ball. Just again, not creating any anything clear cut yet. And uh, oh my days, what was that? <laughs> so a second nil nil draw. Quite possibly. Quite possibly, and it is. It's that's really poor. I mean, not terrible today, but not just, oh dear. I don't know. I can't really explain it. It's just, we just struggled to break him open. I, I just think Palace was so, was so solid and disciplined. Tried the through balls. They tried the balls over the top. We uh, had Kirkes trying, you know, whipping balls in. We, we tried everything. I mean, Hoyden, Hoyden had the best chance in the first half where we did play the ball over the top, but he scuffed it, man. Absolutely scuffed it on his strong foot. But when we do come back, let's check. Actually, let's just go to the Canada. We are in February and I can see we got a Europa League uh, game. We got, yeah, we got uh, home and away. Well, yeah, it's a home and away uh, tie against the Hoffenheim away first. And uh, would you believe it? Spurs. <laughs> Spurs in the league uh, next episode. And I've just seen that we have lost. United did lose 3-0 at home to uh, Tottenham today. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, Bruno sent off. Cool. Fantastic. Things are going well for us. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, you know, us fans, we just need to stick together. We need to stick together. We are the heartbeat for this club. And, uh, they, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, we are. We are the heartbeat, heartbeat of the club. I just don't know what United do uh, from now on, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of, like, raging and ranting about United and uh, Ten Hag and uh, Bruno and that after uh, the few nights ago. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to go. You, you're not going to find me on the community tab um, ranting and raving. Nope. It's not going to get us anywhere. I don't know. I just don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But what I do know, much improved today. And uh, next episode, it's huge. Got to stay in the Europa League and keep our Champions League hopes for Season 2 alive. But anyway, that's enough from me. And uh, guys, you know, you do know. You absolutely do know. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you for the next one. Take it easy.